Police are really targeting everyone. The Yuba County Sheriff's Office telling me today they've had reports from local businesses, residents, and listen to this, even utility companies are being affected. Yuba County Sheriff's Office is sounding the alarm. And really suspects are just taking advantage of unsuspecting victims um, who are left vulnerable. Copper wire theft reports this year have already doubled compared to all of last year. It is across the board. Um, you know, we've seen them, like I said, in agricultural situations where they're um, pumping systems. The uh, local like AT&T, PG&E, they're, they're not safe from it either. Last year, Yuba County Sheriff's Office says they had a total of 17 reports for copper wire thefts. This year so far, there's already been 34 reports. It's unfortunate, but it's a reality. I think it's an easy commodity to take, too. I mean, you can go into a new construction house that's unmonitored and just tear it out of the walls. Dan Wilder is a general contractor taking his own precautions. We used to leave all of our construction stuff on the site. We used to leave our tools on the site as well. We don't do that anymore. We take everything with us when we leave. It's just not worth it. Katie Goodson says the surge in thefts comes with metal substantial increase in market value over the years. Criminals then cash it into recycling centers and steel distributors. These establishments keep logs of anyone that's sold. Um, so those are lists that our investigators look at. 20 years ago, copper was a dollar a foot. Now it's almost three. Leaving the victims with the heavy financial burden to repair damages. It ranges from, you know, at the very least, thousands of dollars of damage, and it goes all the way up to the hundred thousands of dollars of damage. Goodson adding it's an issue across the state and the nation, and not just with copper. Not just the copper wire, but it's really anything, um, any of these metals that are of value uh, that they can go and sell at the recycle centers and the steel distributors. The sheriff's office really emphasizing the importance of reporting any suspicious activity right away. They also have an anonymous tip line with people can call in if they have any information or if they ha possibly have surveillance footage capturing these suspects. They are asked to report it to them right away. Live in Marysville, covering local news that matters. Kimberly Cruz, Fox 40 News.